five essential questioning techniques that each one of you need to know to be a pro. Thomas Kahn once said, you get the answers depending on the questions you ask. And I'm sure he meant something when he said that. Well, in order to get the right amount of information and to build a greater connection and stronger bonding with the people you communicate, you need to learn the art of questioning. Number one, asking yes or no questions. Yes. They are called close-ended questions or polar questions. For example, do you work? Did you have your breakfast? Uh, how Are you feeling good today? Number two, open-ended questions. Now, if you want someone to open up and you want to get more information beyond a yes or a no, then you should go in for open-ended questions. Asking probing questions. Now, asking probing questions means you ask Questions, try and dig deeper to get more and more information that you require that will help you seek clarification and understanding of the particular subject or topic of discussion. In case of any project or assignment, if you're a student, wonder what means leading questions. Leading questions are nothing that lead or give a direction to your conversation or your communication in a particular direction that you want it to go to. So asking the right leading question, for example, uh, don't you think that uh, poverty should be eliminated or unemployment is a real concern in our country? And what are the measures that you think we should take to eliminate poverty from our country? Asking rhetorical questions, which means you ask questions to make the audience or the person who's listening to you reflect on what you're trying to say. It's a very smart way of asking a question wherein you are giving an opinion in the form of a question inviting the audience or the listener to offer their opinion as well and to think about your point of view. Let me give you an example here. Before you begin a presentation, for example, it's a good idea to start with a rhetorical question.